No. No. Okay, so from more than a couple of comments that I have received on some of my latest videos, uh, people seem to think that Linux should be more like Windows. So it should have only one user interface, it should have only one uh, installer and package manager, it should, it should have only one of this, one of that, one of that. And on the surface, when you, when you think of it, when, when you read what these people uh, think, uh, I imagine that these are all um, purely Windows users who are making these comments, uh, because they kind of want to get away from Microsoft and Windows, but they don't want anything to change. They just want the title to change, right? And they want everything to say as it is completely the same. That, that's not how it works. So uh, in my opinion, and I believe that many of you will agree, Linux is not actually an alternative to Windows. It's not an alternative to anything. Linux is Linux and Windows is proprietary. So what you're getting with Linux, it's it's about freedom, right? I mean, it's a freedom of choice, it's, uh, it's your privacy, it's... Um, uh, I mean, do you prefer KDE interface? Do you prefer GNOME interface? Would it be better if all those teams would work together and make one a potentially better interface? Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. Um, but the fact that we have so many uh, good programmers in the world of Linux and free software is, it's a good thing, I like it. I mean, uh, when I started with Linux, uh, we have had to uh, basically compile uh, our, our own kernel, our own drivers, uh, uh, get X11 running, uh, maybe use uh, Window Maker for, uh, for, inter for the... Um, kind of an interface, I mean, it's just a window manager, uh, it's not actually a desktop environment, right? So later we got some desktop envir environments, we got a lot of tools that come bundled with all that, and we now have uh, all this choice. So do you not prefer to have choice? Do you actually want to be on the leash of a single company who will tell you this is what you're going to use in this one way that uh, we have told you to and there is no other way. Do it our way or the highway. So that's basically what proprietary systems do. Maybe, uh, maybe Windows uh, offers a tiny bit more freedom to install uh, things on it than macOS does but O overall, it's not even comparable to what the actual free software can do for you, what Linux can do for you. And I'm not sure uh, if, if it's even healthy to think about Linux in that way, uh, that you actually want it to be exactly like Windows. I mean, the very often topic is, of course, Adobe tools. Everyone wants Adobe tools, they cannot live without it, and they they would switch to Linux if only Adobe tools would be available. I mean, if you really need Adobe tools, then just use them the way that Adobe tells you to use them. Use Windows, use Mac, what's the problem? Why do you want Adobe tools on Linux? Why? Just, just think about it for a moment. You want a proprietary software on Linux so, do, so that you could get away from proprietary operating system to the one that gives you freedom, but then you want to put proprietary software on your free operating system. I mean, it's a bit entangled uh, inside your head, isn't it? I mean, from my perspective, it's nice when companies uh, make the effort and put their proprietary software on Linux, and it, this makes easier for many uh, other people from Windows and Mac uh, to switch over if they so desire. But usually when they learn how uh, free software works, I think many of you just kind of start leaving uh, most of the proprietary stuff behind, maybe not in a fast way uh, or over the night, but generally, 
when you get very comfortable with uh, Linux and the rest of the free software community, uh, you usually start leaving things behind, proprietary things be behind. And this is how it's going to be for a long time, hopefully forever. Uh, and I really don't think that uh, Linux should be like Windows. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to see you in the next video. Please let me know what you think about what I said.